Well, folks, let's make a movie. It is the weekend. It is sunny. Praise God. Um, drink your daily cocoa powder, your daily God food, and get set free from all this junk out there. Um, remember the God food, Johnny. Uh, seriously, it is legendary verbiage that is coming out about this stuff, and people are getting on it, and it is hilarious and people are getting set free from everything you can name because once you get invited into a higher pleasure that costs pennies a glass you're forever free from all this nonsense and thank god i love it remember the god food johnny one more time that is such a great line remember the god food <laughs> kid puts on his hat and goes out the door just jacked up um <laughs> it's actually it's perfect you cannot beat the name god food in that order, I just, what kid wouldn't resist that? It, it's, but it's real. Like it's, it's actually in this story in which you live. It's in the scientific literature. It's a gift from God on world stage, ordained that he's got his name on it, okay? Remember the God food. And I'm serious about that. Remember your God food. I, I, I walk past people everywhere and I see them whiny and cranky. I'm like, that kid needs to have some cocoa powder. I'm like, that, that, that woman, she hasn't had her cocoa today. No wonder she's upset and on and on, okay? So, there's more than one way to live. Remember, the Mayans, okay, for hundreds of years, that was the social drink of choice, okay? Pure cocoa. And they were way happier and way healthier than most people in North America today. I say that as a statement of reality and truth, okay? It's time for a healing, folks. <laughs> Pour out your alcohol for a while. I've talked about this before, okay, how... how um, any bottle of wine today has approximately seven times as much, scholars estimate, seven times as much alcohol as the stuff Jesus would have created and they drank back in biblical times. Okay, so if you do want to have a glass of wine, buy some grape juice, get literally, do, do like a seven to one ratio of natural pure grape juice. I just, God is sovereign over everything. A brother who works at Walmart tells me about how he 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 makes his own grape juice at home by crushing the grapes himself, and he says it tastes way better than anything you can buy in a carton, and I believe it, and you and you know that it's true, okay. And um, just grab some grape juice if you want, add a, like a one to seven ratio of the current bottle of wine, but trust me, once you get on God food, cocoa powder with water you won't even care. You'll just be like, hey, I'm high on the enhanced oxygen flow, which is the breath of life, okay? Um, anyways, <laughs> drink your God food. Remember the God food, Johnny. Um, <laughs> just, you can't beat that name. You, you, you cannot beat that name. I, I can't think of, first of all, we know that the best thing you can spend your money on has to be a food, because that can get inside of you. But then which food? Well, we know that God is all about the name. Well, there's one plant in this world named by the Christian founder of all scientific name and Carl Linnaeus that has the name God food. Now, to clarify technicalities, there are other species that, species that, have, a since, that have since been assigned to the genus Theobroma. But none of them are the original, which was named by the great Carl Linnaeus, Theobroma cacao, which we all know worldwide has been prostituted with all these chocolate creations and but when you drink the pure stuff when you get as close to the god-given plant as possible it's pure paradise inside your body day and night for less than pennies a glass and you'll be set free from all this disgusting profiteering junk on the shelves that they're tempting you with today okay um i wouldn't even say tempting because once you get on cocoa powder you're not even tempted by this stuff at all because it's just all a displeasure by comparison you're not even tempted by it anymore. You're, you're, you're just like, oh, I, I finally found the goods. I finally found what I was looking for. Okay? And then all of their ignorance and, uh, you know, godlessness, whatever, profiteering. No, seriously. Godlessness. You have to say it like it is. They are far from God. Otherwise, they would have had this revelation. Just, you have to say things like they are. Many times people do what they do because they haven't prayed. They haven't spent a life of prayer. They don't seek the Lord. Anyways, um... Uh, <laughs> uh, glory to God. I want to stay as happy today as possible. Thank God, okay? Just just thank God, okay, for what he gives you today. It's like, the past is over. Um, I love making movies. I'm so happy to be back in video. Like, 
As a personal testimony, I have enjoyed making video my whole life. I enjoyed it as a kid. As a kid, I made movies um, with brothers and sisters and some friends and with one of those huge clunky video cameras and I was the cameraman and I did some directing and told people what we were doing and you know we, we played the soundtracks you know and t did cuts and stuff like that and invented our own pathetic special effects and um, it's fun I mean the only special effect we knew of was the old disappearing act where you hold the camera still and then you remove an object from the given previous clip and then you turn the camera back on and you say oh my goodness he disappeared <laughs> that was pretty much the only special effect we were capable of as kids. But, hey, man, you, you, you pulled off a lot of funny videos with that one. <laughs> uh, the other favorite sequence was the Ricochet Rama video where you just followed a bouncing ball like as it just careened off every object in the universe and you pretended that this thing, like, you know, supernaturally made all these perfect reflections through the universe and it just kept bouncing and, you know, it was fun. But I'm happy to be back in video. I really am. Because I love video. Video's hilarious, man. Um, but it's to have video with a message, okay? To have video with truth, okay? We are glorifying God, okay? That's, that's actually worth it, okay? Um, laughter is huge. Joy is huge, okay? Uh, drink your daily cocoa. You'll feel better, okay? I'm, you, you, uh, you will, okay? God... Laughter is divine. Uh, we could go on. But um, I'm so excited about springtime. It is March the 9th, 2019 today in the morning. It's going to be a gorgeous sunny day. We got tons of epic words from the Lord yesterday for joy. The trees, the forests, okay? Just solving everything for fives. The flare, the flame, um, <clears throat> white railing, white post, white trim. What do they all have in common? Joy. We're still going to see white edge clothing, I, God willing, in my lifetime. We got so many words from the Lord. It's just pure paradise. We got some gorgeous sun time. I just, I am so excited about summer, man. I love sunshine like you wouldn't believe. I believe with all my heart, the Lord said to me the other day, that all the prophets loved the sun. And it's evident from their lifestyle. Most of the prophets spent all their time walking outdoors, which means they loved the sun. And But I have a deeper truth for you too convince you of this and that is that the sun equals truth like the sun in the sky i'm talking about like the center of the solar system you line up the letters t-h-e-s-u-n with t-r-u-t-h and you compare them one by one and you are just yeah you're, you're just like yeah just like the word chirpeth with the word truth in order you're just like yep yeah, nope the sun equals truth and dramatically i'm like um, you get the T and the H, you get the U, which match, and then the S differs from one point by the T or the R, and then the EN is equal to another S, which obviously differs, again, by the other T or R. The sun equals truth, okay? All the prophets were truth speakers. They were truth seekers. They loved the God of truth, okay? And so it makes sense to me that all the prophets naturally, it, to the glory of God, who's sovereign over Gematria and everything, all the prophets loved the sun. They walked outdoors. I believe with all my heart that, that was a word from the Lord, that, that all the prophets loved the sun. They loved truth. The sun equals truth, okay? Um, in Hebrew, uh, the, uh, the word sun, shemesh, adds to 640, which is 8 times 80. Points to Jesus equals 8 at 8 in Greek, and a proper analysis of all Hebrew and Greek gematria. Again, everything points to Jesus. You'll see so many eights pointing to the ultimate Jesus equals eight at eight in Greek. Um, but five is the number of joy. Um, but um, it, it just makes sense to me. And ask anyone who knows me. My entire life, I have loved the sun. It was actually one of the main reasons that I originally wanted to move to um, California. And I actually worked in the U.S. for... But... Um, Okay, uh, you you grow up and you know the more important truth that it's like you try and serve God today, like where you are, like that's that is you know it is your life. Okay, to to serve and promote God, the teachings of Jesus, you know, the gospel, uh, where you are today, and um, so cool. Okay, God is sovereign over the weather. Anyway, it's gonna be a sunny day. I I love the sunshine. Um, totally awesome. There, there's so many cool gametria. Sun equals love equals breath. 
Okay, it's it's one of the simplest gametria gems to start kids with. Okay, equals health. Um, I love it. I just love it. Isn't it amazing? Like when you pay attention to the things that God ordains us to have repeatedly, every day. It just it behooves you to master them well. Okay, like even yesterday, like the sun, the sun every day. Now, back in Eden, they had perpetual sunshine. There were no clouds in Eden. Okay, you can read creationscience.com in order to understand that. There were no clouds ever in Eden. Every day was a perfect sunny day, and every night was a perfectly starry night. Isn't that amazing? Now, they also had um, a different atmosphere back in Eden so that, you know, they could spend more time in pure sunshine without, um, you know, being damaged, many scientists proclaim okay I believe obviously that today like all things with the Spirit of God inside of you you will simply be led by the Spirit hallelujah I there is nothing sweeter in life than just letting the Spirit of God control you and he'll handle your health he'll handle your choices the time that you spend in the Sun yada 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 okay okay um, just you know just listen to your body whom God has filled um, I love it, the sun, okay? And um, I even believe, this, this is so fascinating. I even did um, a little experiment yesterday where you just kind of, you, you look almost directly at the sun just in little snippets. You know how much your eye can handle, okay? And, um, there's, and I believe that it's, it's healthy just in little snippets, okay? You know, just like how you exercise your muscles at the gym, okay, and you can feel, you know when you've had enough, and it's just the right amount, and you put the weights down. Well, that's what I, there's all sorts of people, it's crazy now, man. People are spending hundreds of dollars on light therapy sessions. I'm not joking, where they actually go to a practitioner of this stuff, and they'll have like bright flashing lights. Like, I don't even know what how it happens but I assume it's 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 from it's like bright flashing lights or bright lights that are like beamed in their eyes in certain amounts you know in in some form of you know people are claiming therapy in this well it's like just pay attention to what God has you know provided in the universe I believe that in small amounts just looking you know just close to directly at the Sun for just small amounts you know and do some your eyes will naturally squint but just do small amounts so you feel, you know, just this sort of the joy of looking at bright light without hurting yourself. Just your body gives you that feedback very well. Just like when you're lifting weights and your body says, okay, I, I shouldn't lift anymore. Or, okay, that's enough. And you put it down. Well, same thing with looking at a bright light, okay? Um, I believe it can be healthy for you, okay? To, to just get some glances close to the sun or even directly at the sun and just for quickly squint a little bit, you know, um, I believe it can actually be healthy for your brain, okay? Um, but um, anyways, just, just a little uh, scientific thought there, okay? It's not, but um, amazing, okay? Um, pure sunshine. Wow. It's, it's so awesome, okay? Draw, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. It's like every day, every day with God is sweeter than the last. Appreciate to the uttermost what God has put in your life now, today. And at some point, by his supernatural abilities, he will just provide you with more. That's, that's just who he is. Like, he is all-knowing, he is almighty, he is all-capable. I love God. It's like... He knows what I'm saying right now. Psalm 139 is a great psalm. He knows what I'm saying right now. He knows exactly what I've seen and know up here. He knows what, like, I should do next in terms of, you know, whatever it is. And um, it's, it's awesome to me that, like, every day is actually sweeter than the last. You know, rejoice in the glory of God. It's remarkable. You're just like, it just is, okay? Um, 
So I love producing video. Vid video is awesome, man. I'm back and video is awesome. Okay. Um, so cool. It's like you can re record all of nature with a video camera, talk about it. So cool. Um, and it lasts for generations, God willing, if Jesus Christ hears. <laughs> so cool. Okay. So I just, I continue to get these beautiful words that scream out fives, okay, like crusades and miracles, okay. Crusades. Pay attention to the loudest syllable, crusades. It's that S-A. And then that's flanked in 25. And then that's flanked in more fives. And crusades. It's like, yeah, if God calls you to do crusades like Benny Hinn or Billy Graham, it's going to be a joy. Okay. Inter interestingly, Benny Hinn Ministries, every word divides by five. And he is a joy to many people. Okay. He's, he's, he's a great speaker filled with the spirit and just, just watch the videos yourself and you'll, you'll see, you'll see, you know, the, the work of God. And, um, nobody's perfect, but you know, he's totally been used by God in awesome ways. Um, love it. Okay. Benny Hinn Ministries off awesome. So the most exciting thing of all is that none of us knows what God has in store next. Isn't that exciting? Like there's lots of people down here and there's an all powerful God that has good plans. Like I just, to me that, that excites me like crazy. It's like, we, we don't know what God has in store next. But we just know who he is, how good he is, how smart he is, how able he is. You're just like, oh yeah, this is going to be good. I can smell it. <laughs> okay. Now, I've already experienced miraculous benefits in health and in feelings as a result of, of drinking regular cocoa powder, God food. And so, I just extrapolate that vision to huge amounts of people in my country across the world feeling happier and healthy around the clock like the Mayans did before the Europeans came over. That's one thing, okay, that I can see happening in the future. That's one thing that I can see, you know, God doing for more people in the future, okay? The stuff is called by his name, God food. But, you know, more importantly is God filling everyone with his spirit. And, but then you got to eat food. you got to actually... God is the God of science. He's the God of food. He's the God of plants. He's the God of chemistry. It's like, well, eat your God food. And it goes well with your God body and your God spirit. <laughs> and you'll feel terrific. And I have to offload this camera again. I just can't stop blabbing. So I need to offload these chips all the time and get more memory. No big problem. Maybe I'll just do it now. <laughs> 